In this video, we are going to learn about double line graphs. Double line graphs are great for comparing two sets of continuous quantitative data that's continuous over the same time interval. To make a double line graph, you simply draw two line graphs on the same graph. So that's why it really has to be the same time or the same values on your x-axis in order for it to even make sense at all. Otherwise, why would you really be comparing the two sets of data? So right here we have one line graph. This is a single line, and it's representing a distance at given times. So perhaps this was a race or this was one person, and what if there was someone else that was also in the race or doing something at the same time. We could add data for that person to this graph in order to be able to compare how far they'd been, where they were at, at different times. So let's say that our second person started out 20 kilometers away from the starting point and continued on at a constant speed until nine o'clock at which point he stopped until 10.30 and didn't move and then decided he had to keep moving again. So went at a slower pace than before up until 11.30 until returning to the original starting point down here. So now this would be a double line graph because we have two line graphs on the same line and having, or on the same graph, and having both lines there makes it easier to compare what was going on. We can see really easily that for the first portion from eight to 9.30, that the purple line, whoever was the purple line, was farther away than whoever the blue line was. Then we can see that they were at the same spot for this period of time, at which point the purple line stayed a little longer, but the blue line continued on. We can also compare speeds by comparing the slopes. So we could compare this slope to this slope and realize that the blue line was going faster here than the purple line was going here. So all of that stuff you can do relatively easily with the double line graph. So if you ever have two sets of continuous data that you want to compare, it especially works well for uh, data over time, like we have here, then a double line graph is a great way to go to represent your data in order to analyze it and share it with others.